the dance of long-term relationships, the music may sometimes fade into a whisper, leaving partners yearning for the volume to rise once more. The quest to revive romance is akin to rekindling the flame of a once-roaring fire. It requires patience, understanding, and a sprinkle of creativity. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, alongside modern insights, here are 10 secrets that can help breathe new life into the embers of love. Embrace the art of active listening. Communication holds the key to unlocking the depths of a partner's heart. Yet, true communication transcends mere speaking, it's rooted in active listening. In the spirit of Giguzzi's teachings on understanding human nature, listen not just to respond, but to comprehend the unsaid. The act of listening demonstrates respect and genuine interest in your partner's thoughts and feelings, paving the way for deeper connection. Master the language of appreciation. Words wield the power to heal or hurt, to uplift or undermine. Master the varied modes of expression as Gaguzi advocates and use them to articulate your appreciation for your partner. A simple thank you for the mundane tasks they perform can light up their entire day. Tailor your language to what resonates most with them. Be it words of affirmation, acts of service, or another love language. Rekindle through shared experiences. Embarking on new adventures together can reignite the spark that once burned brightly. Whether it's a cooking class, a hiking trip, or exploring a new city. Shared experiences create memories and strengthen bonds. They serve as a reminder of the joy of companionship and the excitement of tackling life's adventures as a team. Harness the power of surprise. Predictability can be the nemesis of romance. Breaking the monotony with unexpected gestures of love can inject excitement into the relationship. Surprise your partner with a handwritten note, a thoughtful gift, or a planned date night. These surprises need not be grand, it's the thought and effort that count showcasing your attention to their happiness prioritize quality time in the hustle of daily life it's easy for quality time to slip through the cracks dedicate time to be truly present with your partner free from distractions this could mean setting aside phones during dinner or having a designated date night each week quality time is fertile ground for nurturing intimacy and connection engage in meaningful conversations Beyond small talk, dive into conversations that matter. Discuss dreams, fears, and everything in between. Giguzzi emphasizes the role of emotions in persuasion, similarly. Sharing and acknowledging each other's emotional states fosters a deeper emotional link. Keep the flame of physical intimacy alive. Physical touch, from holding hands to more intimate expressions of love, is paramount in maintaining a physical connection. It's a powerful nonverbal communication that reaffirms love and attraction. Respect and consent are key, ensuring both partners feel comfortable and valued. Practice forgiveness. Holding onto grudges can create a barrier to intimacy. Forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself and your partner. It's about letting go of bitterness to make room for peace and love. Remember, forgiveness is a process, and it begins with open, honest communication. Cultivate personal growth. A thriving relationship consists of two individuals who grow both together and independently. Encourage each other's pursuits and celebrate individual achievements. This not only enriches each person's life, but also brings fresh energy and perspectives into the relationship. Reflect and adjust. Lastly, relationships are not static, they evolve. Regularly take time to reflect on the relationship's direction and discuss ways to nurture it. Openness to adapt and change is crucial as it demonstrates a commitment to the relationship's longevity and happiness. In the journey of reviving romance, these secrets offer a beacon of hope. Inspired by the sage advice of Gaguzi and seasoned with real-life wisdom, they remind us that love is an ever-flowing river, requiring constant nurturing and care to maintain its vitality. Embrace these principles and watch as the romance in your long-term relationship blossoms anew. In the quiet unfolding of life's tapestry, where love and money often entangle in complex patterns, there lies an unspoken truth. 
navigating their confluence is no less than steering a ship through a stormy sea. It demands not only the wisdom of Gaguzi, but also the finesse of a master storyteller. Thus, we embark on a journey, a narrative exploration, if you will, that seeks to illuminate the path for couples wading through these waters. In the beginning, it's all sunshine and gentle breezes. Love, in its nascent stage, is a powerful force, blinding and exhilarating. Money, at this juncture, seems a distant, almost irrelevant concern. Yet, as the relationship deepens, the financial realities begin to surface, bringing with them a tide of challenges. It is here that the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi whispers to us, reminding us of the importance of understanding human nature. Love, a complex emotion, intertwines with the equally intricate web of financial stability. To navigate this, one must master the art of communication, a skill highly prized by Gaguzi. Different situations call for different types of dialogue. A conversation about shared financial goals requires clarity and openness, devoid of the emotional weight that might cloud judgment. Herein lies the beauty of strategic communication. It's not just about speaking. It's about connecting, understanding, and aligning. Employing rhetorical techniques as advised by Gaguzi can turn a potentially contentious financial discussion into a harmonious planning session. Imagine weaving a narrative that appeals to your partner's aspirations, using emotion to fuel a shared vision for the future. This is persuasion at its finest, turning fears into hopes and dreams into plans. However, the path is fraught with obstacles. The discernment between truth and falsehood becomes paramount. In matters of the heart and wallet, honesty is the keystone. Misrepresentations, even if well-intentioned, can erode the very foundation of trust, upon which a relationship is built. Hence, the emphasis on understanding and appealing to emotions must be balanced with a commitment to truth. Real-life examples abound of couples who have successfully navigated these waters. Take, for instance, the story of Ella and Theo. Initially, their financial discussions were fraught with tension, each conversation a storm on the horizon. Yet, through a deliberate application of Gaguzi's teachings, they learned to communicate effectively. They shared their fears, hopes, and dreams, employing both logic and emotion in their dialogues. Over time, these discussions became the bedrock for their shared financial planning, transforming potential conflicts into opportunities for growth. The integration of idioms into our narrative, like the threads of a rich tapestry, adds depth and resonance. Consider the saying, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. This adage speaks volumes about the journey of love and money. It is through navigating the rough waters that couples grow stronger their bonds deepening in the face of adversity. In conclusion, the confluence of love and money, with all its inherent challenges, also holds the potential for profound growth and deeper connection. Guided by the wisdom of Gaguzi, couples can learn to navigate these waters with skill and grace. By mastering the art of communication, employing strategic persuasion, and adhering to a foundation of honesty, they can turn the journey into an opportunity for shared success. Just as a master raconteur captivates their audience from beginning to end, so too can couples traverse the complexities of love and money, emerging not just unscathed, but enriched by the experience. In the tapestry of human connections, few threads are as vibrant and complex as those woven in the pursuit of love. The journey from the tentative steps of a first date to the secure embrace of a forever bond is fraught with both challenges and triumphs. It's a narrative that, much like a late night show, can oscillate between laughter and tears, surprises and poignant truths. Yet, at its core, the building of a lasting relationship can be distilled into a series of pivotal moments and decisions, each influenced by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the modern finesse of narrative storytelling. The first encounter, understanding human nature. The initial meeting is akin to the opening act of a performance, setting the stage for all that follows. Here, the teachings of Gaguzi remind us of the importance of understanding human nature. 
People are drawn to authenticity and warmth, seeking a connection that feels both genuine and inviting. Deepening the connection, mastering the art of speech. As the relationship progresses, the ability to communicate effectively becomes paramount. Different stages may require different modes of expression, a playful banter during a casual outing, sincere conversations about personal values and dreams during quiet moments, or supportive dialogues through challenging times. Overcoming obstacles, utilization of rhetorical techniques. No journey is without its hurdles, and the path to a lasting relationship is no exception. Conflicts, misunderstandings, and external pressures can test the resilience of the bond. Here, the strategic use of rhetorical techniques can play a crucial role. Building trust, discernment between truth and falsehood. Trust is the cornerstone of any enduring relationship. The discernment between truth and falsehood, a critical lesson from Gaguzi, is essential in building and maintaining this trust. Nurturing affection, role of emotions. Emotions are the vibrant colors that fill the canvas of a relationship. Understanding and appealing to each other's emotional needs is crucial. Celebrating successes, no matter how small, offering comfort in times of distress, expressing affection through both words and actions, these are the threads that knit hearts closer. Adapting to change, flexibility in communication. Finally, the ability to adapt to changing circumstances and evolving personalities is what allows a relationship to stand the test of time. Flexibility, a key tenet of Gaguzi's philosophy, ensures that partners can adjust their communication styles, support each other through life's transitions, and grow together. Closing Act, From First Date to Forever Just as a master raconteur captivates their audience from the opening line to the final word, so too does the journey from a first date to a forever partnership captivate the hearts of those involved. It is a narrative rich with learning, laughter, and love, guided by ancient wisdom and the universal desire for connection. In understanding and applying these building blocks, couples can weave their own enduring tale, one that, despite its twists and turns, leads to a bond that is both fulfilling and everlasting. In the realm of relationships, communication often acts as both the bridge and the barrier. Whether it's the initial flutter of love or the deep-rooted companionship of years, effective communication between couples is the cornerstone upon which a relationship flourishes or flounders. Drawing inspiration from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, alongside a sprinkle of modern-day humor a la Jimmy Kimmel, let's navigate the art of breaking the ice and ensuring that communication flows freely and fruitfully in relationships. The Opening Act, Understanding Human Nature just as a late-night show host reads the room before diving into the monologue, understanding your partner's emotional and mental state is pivotal. Gaguzi emphasizes the importance of grasping human nature and motivations. Is your partner someone who appreciates directness, or do they need a little dance of words before getting to the point? Recognizing these nuances can turn a potential argument into a constructive conversation. Remember, the goal isn't to win, it's to understand and be understood. The main event, mastery of speech and rhetorical techniques. Once you've tuned into your partner's wavelength, the next step is mastering the art of communication. This doesn't mean delivering a Shakespearean soliloquy every time you need to discuss doing the dishes. Instead, it's about choosing your words with care, knowing when humor can break the tension and when earnestness is required. For instance, instead of saying, you never do the dishes, try, I feel overwhelmed when I have to do the dishes alone. Can we come up with a system that works for both of us? It's not just what you say, it's how you say it that can turn the tide. The Emotional Quotient, Role of Emotions Emotions are the undercurrent of every conversation. Gaguzi teaches us the power of understanding and appealing to emotions. This doesn't mean manipulating feelings, but rather acknowledging and addressing them. For example, if your partner is stressed about work, acknowledging their stress before discussing household chores can make them feel seen and heard, paving the way for more constructive dialogue. The finale, adaptability in communication. Flexibility is key. Just as a late night show may adjust its lineup based on current events, being adaptable in how you communicate can lead to more effective exchanges. 
This might mean choosing the right moment to discuss something important or changing your approach based on your partner's current state of mind. Incorporating real life samples, a touch of reality. Let's take a leaf out of real life. Imagine a couple, Alex and Jordan. Alex is a night owl, full of energy in the evenings, while Jordan is an early bird, most alert in the mornings. They were struggling with scheduling time to discuss important matters, leading to frustration on both sides. By understanding their natural rhythms, they decided to schedule important chats for late afternoons, a compromise that suited both. Instead of accusatory statements, they used I feel messages to express their needs and concerns, always acknowledging the other's feelings. Encore, weaving idioms for that extra flavor. Sprinkling conversations with idioms can add a layer of richness and humor, making heavy topics a bit lighter. Telling your partner, let's not beat around the bush, can be a playful way to encourage directness. Or after resolving a disagreement, saying, let's bury the hatchet, can add a touch of humor and closure. In closing, effective communication in relationships is an art form, combining understanding, empathy, and adaptability. Drawing on ancient wisdom and modern insights, we see that, at its core, it's about connecting with your partner in a way that respects and values their individuality and contributions to the relationship. So, the next time you find yourself at a communication crossroads with your partner, remember the lessons from Gaguzi and the charm of late-night banter. After all, in the grand narrative of love, it's the shared chapters, filled with understanding and laughter, that truly stand the test of time. In the realm of human interactions, the power of an apology cannot be overstated. It is the bridge built from the rubble of mistakes, a testament to the resilience of relationships. Yet, constructing this bridge requires an understanding of human nature, a mastery of speech, and an adeptness in the art of persuasion, principles deeply rooted in the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi. Understanding human nature, at the core of every apology is an acknowledgement of a fault, an act that demands a profound comprehension of human emotions and motivations. This understanding is pivotal. When we recognize the hurt or inconvenience our actions have caused, we touch the very essence of empathy. It's about seeing the situation from the other's perspective, feeling their pain, and acknowledging it. This depth of understanding paves the way for genuine remorse. An essential element in the art of apology. Mastery of speech. How we convey our apologies significantly influences their reception. Different situations necessitate different forms of expression. A casual oversight might only require a simple, heartfelt I'm sorry. While more grave errors demand a detailed acknowledgement of the hurt caused, the reasons behind the action, and a clear plan to avoid repeating the mistake. The mastery of speech involves choosing the right words that convey sincerity, remorse, and a commitment to change, ensuring the message is clear, sincere, and appropriately tailored to the individual and the situation. Utilization of rhetorical techniques. Effective apologies often employ a blend of logical argumentation, emotional appeals, and ethical considerations. For instance, explaining the rationale behind an action can help the aggrieved understand your perspective, logos, while expressing sincere remorse appeals to their emotions, pathos. Moreover, acknowledging one's fault and committing to rectify it addresses ethical considerations, ethos, reinforcing the sincerity of the apology and the integrity of the apologizer, discernment between truth and falsehood, an apology devoid of sincerity is like a ship without a rudder, aimlessly floating and bound to sink. The ability to discern between genuine remorse and a mere performative apology is crucial. A sincere apology not only acknowledges the mistake but also owns the consequences. It's transparent, making no excuses, and doesn't attempt to shift the blame. This discernment is vital, for a hollow apology can further damage the trust and integrity of a relationship. Role of Emotions Emotions are the lifeblood of an apology. They transform words into feelings, making the apology resonate on a deeper level. 
An apology that fails to address and acknowledge the emotional hurt caused is like a melody played without passion, it lacks impact. Engaging with the emotions involved, expressing sincere remorse, and showing empathy are crucial in healing the wounds caused by our actions. Adaptability in communication. Every individual and situation is unique, requiring a tailored approach. A one-size-fits-all apology is unlikely to mend fences. Adaptability involves listening actively, understanding the specific hurt caused, and customizing the apology to address those unique feelings and circumstances. It's about making the apology as personal as the relationship it seeks to mend. Real-life application Consider the story of Alex and Jordan, longtime friends who fell out over a misunderstanding. Alex, realizing the mistake, decided to apologize, taking into account Jordan's perspective and feelings. The apology was heartfelt, acknowledging the hurt caused, expressing genuine remorse, and detailing steps to avoid similar situations in the future. This approach not only mended their friendship, but also deepened their understanding and respect for each other. In weaving the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi with the art of apology, we find a powerful tool for healing and strengthening relationships. An apology, crafted with an understanding of human nature, mastery of speech, and emotional intelligence, is more than just words. It's a testament to our capacity for empathy, growth, and connection. In the dance of relationships, the steps between personal space and togetherness can often resemble a tightrope walk. Striking the right balance is akin to crafting a masterful story, one that ebbs and flows with tension and release, engaging its audience from start to finish. Just as a late-night show host knows exactly when to deliver a punchline or a poignant story to captivate viewers, navigating the dynamics of personal space and togetherness requires a keen understanding of human nature, an art form discussed in the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi. Understanding the complexity of human behavior is the first step in this delicate balance. Each individual brings their own set of needs, desires, and boundaries into a relationship. Recognizing and respecting these differences is crucial. It's akin to the mastery of speech highlighted in Gaguzi, knowing when to step forward with warmth and when to step back, allowing silence to speak volumes. Incorporating idioms, let's say, Walking on eggshells can often describe the initial phase of figuring out the balance in a relationship. However, the goal is to move from walking on eggshells to dancing on air, where both partners feel supported yet free. This transition requires the skillful deployment of rhetorical techniques, using both logic and emotion to communicate needs and understandings. It's about painting a picture together where both the need for togetherness and the respect for personal space are valued equally. Real-life examples abound of couples who have navigated this balance successfully. Consider the story of Alex and Jamie, who found harmony by establishing me-time rituals. Every Wednesday, Alex would delve into painting, a solitary activity that brought immense joy. Jamie, on the other hand, used this time to engage in a weekly basketball game with friends. This arrangement allowed them both to cherish their personal space, while also looking forward to their reunions. Their story illustrates the principle of adaptability in communication from Gaguzi, tailoring their approach to meet both their needs effectively. The role of emotions and persuasion, as taught by Gaguzi, cannot be underestimated in striking the balance between personal space and togetherness. Emotional intelligence is key. Being able to read your partner's emotional state and respond appropriately is a dance in itself. It involves discerning when your partner needs support or when they simply need space to recharge. This discernment between truth and falsehood, in terms of understanding genuine needs versus perceived needs, is vital. Adaptability in communication is perhaps the most critical aspect. Relationships are dynamic, constantly evolving as life throws its curveballs. Being flexible and open to adjusting the balance between personal space and togetherness ensures that the relationship can withstand the test of time. It's about creating a narrative together that both are eager to continue, filled with mutual respect, understanding, and love. In conclusion, finding harmony between personal space and togetherness in relationships is an art form, 
one that requires understanding, communication, and adaptability. Drawing inspiration from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, we see that mastering the art of persuasion, emotional intelligence, and adaptability are keys to crafting a narrative of love that respects both individuality and unity. Just as a master raconteur captivates their audience with a story that resonates on a personal level, so too can partners in a relationship create a shared story that celebrates both their togetherness and their independence. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, where days blend into nights and weeks into months, it's alarmingly easy for couples to find themselves caught in a monotonous loop. The spark that once lit up their world dims, not for lack of love, but from the sheer weight of routine. It's in these moments, borrowing a leaf from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, that we realize the importance of adapting our strategies. In this case, the strategy to keep love's flame burning bright. Understanding the nature of human emotion and the desire for connection, it becomes clear that breaking the monotony isn't just beneficial but necessary. Here's where the art of persuasion, a key tenet from Gaguzi, plays a pivotal role. Persuading your partner to embark on a new adventure requires not just the idea, but the emotional appeal behind it. The goal? To reignite that spark and strengthen your bond. The culinary journey at home. Transform your kitchen into a culinary adventure. Pick a cuisine you both are curious about, but haven't tried preparing at home. The process of researching recipes, shopping for ingredients, and cooking together becomes a dance of sorts. A dance of flavors, laughter, and maybe a little mess. It's not about the perfection of the dish, but the joy found in creation. Starry night picnics. Sometimes, the most magical moments are the simplest. A late night picnic under the stars doesn't just appeal to the romantic in us, it's a bomb for the soul. Lay out a blanket in your backyard, a nearby park, or any safe, serene spot where the night sky is visible. Bring along some easy snacks, perhaps some wine, and just be. This setting breaks down the barriers of everyday stress, allowing for open, genuine conversations. DIY Project Date Embarking on a DIY project together can be both challenging and incredibly satisfying. Whether it's repainting a room, building a piece of furniture, or starting a garden, the act of creating something tangible with your partner serves as a powerful metaphor for your relationship. It's about planning, negotiation, adapting, and seeing the fruits of your labor. Virtual Exploration In an age where technology often seems to pull us apart, let it be the bridge to new experiences. Choose a country or city you both dream of visiting and spend the evening exploring it virtually. Many museums, historical sites, and cities offer virtual tours. Pair this exploration with cuisine from the region, and you've got an immersive cultural date night. The Challenge Date Set up a series of challenges or mini competitions for each other, ranging from silly to slightly more serious. Think a three-legged race in your backyard, a bake-off with a surprise ingredient, or a puzzle-solving contest. The key here is laughter, the more, the better. This taps into the role of emotions and the mastery of speech. As you'll find yourselves cheering each other on, engaging in playful banter, and perhaps even engaging in a little lighthearted trash talk. In weaving these ideas into the fabric of your relationship, you're not just creating memories. You're also reinforcing the foundation of your partnership. These activities, each in their own way, are exercises in understanding, communication, and adaptation. They serve as reminders that, in love, as in all things, a little creativity goes a long way. So, take these ideas, adapt them to fit your relationship, and watch as the spark you thought you'd lost grows into a blaze that lights up your world anew. In the grand tapestry of relationships, conflicts are as inevitable as the setting of the sun. Yet, Within the intricate dance of discord and reconciliation lies the art of mastering conflict resolution. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, let us embark on a journey to explore effective strategies for couples navigating the turbulent waters of disagreement, ensuring that the path less quarreled becomes one more traveled. 
Understanding human nature, at the heart of every disagreement lies a fundamental misunderstanding or clash of perspectives. It's essential to recognize that each partner comes with a unique set of experiences, beliefs, and emotional baggage. By tapping into this understanding, couples can approach conflicts with empathy, aiming to see the world through their partner's eyes. This doesn't merely pave the way for resolution, but fosters a deeper emotional connection. Mastery of speech, how we convey our feelings and grievances plays a critical role in the outcome of a conflict. A lesson from Gaguzi teaches us the importance of tailoring our speech to the context of the situation. Instead of accusatory language, you always ignore my needs, opt for expressions that focus on your feelings and needs, I feel neglected when my needs seem to be overlooked. This subtle shift in communication can disarm defensiveness, opening the doors to constructive dialogue. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, persuasion in resolving conflicts doesn't mean winning an argument, but guiding the conversation towards a mutual understanding. Employing rhetorical techniques such as storytelling can be powerful. For instance, sharing a personal anecdote that parallels the current situation can help your partner see your perspective without feeling attacked. It's about weaving empathy into the narrative. Discernment between truth and falsehood, in the heat of the moment, it's easy to get lost in the maze of emotions and misinterpretations. Gaguzi emphasizes the importance of discerning the truth from falsehood. This includes recognizing when to take your partner's words at face value and when to probe deeper into the underlying emotions or unspoken concerns. It's a delicate balance between trust and inquiry. Role of emotions, emotions, both our own and our partners, are the lifeblood of conflict resolution. Understanding and acknowledging each other's emotional states can transform a potential battleground into a sanctuary of healing. It's not just about addressing the logical facets of a disagreement, but honoring the feelings intertwined within it. Adaptability in communication, no two conflicts are the same, and as such, our approach must be fluid and adaptable. Sometimes, a gentle conversation might suffice, other times, a more structured form of communication, like writing down thoughts and feelings, may be beneficial. Being open to varying your strategies based on the nature of the disagreement and your partner's communication style is key. Incorporating real-life samples, let's consider the story of Alex and Jamie, a couple who frequently quarreled over household responsibilities. By applying the teachings of Gaguzi, they shifted their approach. They began by seeking to understand the root of their frustrations, understanding human nature, communicated their feelings without blame, mastery of speech, and shared personal stories of why certain tasks felt burdensome, utilization of rhetorical techniques. They were honest about their feelings, distinguishing between temporary stressors and deeper issues, discernment between truth and falsehood, acknowledged each other's frustrations, role of emotions and tried various methods of dividing tasks until they found what worked best for them, adaptability and communication. The road less quarreled is paved with patience, understanding, and a commitment to growth, both as individuals and as a couple. By applying the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi, partners can navigate conflicts with grace and emerge stronger, with a deeper understanding and appreciation for one another. In the end, it's not about who's right or wrong, but how we grow through what we go through, together. In the heart of every relationship, from the ancient bonds of friendship that have traversed the sands of time to the fleeting connections forged in the digital age, lies the timeless art of communication. It's an art that, when mastered, can build bridges over the widest of chasms, yet, when neglected, can erect walls thicker than those of the most formidable fortresses. Today, we embark on a journey through the lens of Gaguzi's ancient Chinese philosophy, exploring how its teachings can help us overcome differences and strengthen the bonds that tie us together. Understanding human nature, at the core of Gaguzi's teachings, is the profound understanding of human nature. It's a reminder that at the heart of every conflict lies a misunderstanding, a failure to grasp the motivations and emotions driving the other. Imagine a scenario where two friends find themselves at odds over a misunderstanding. One feels neglected, the other overwhelmed. By seeking to understand rather than to be understood, they can bridge the gap, turning conflict into an opportunity for growth. Mastery of speech, words, when woven with care, can heal the deepest of wounds. 
Giguzzi emphasizes the mastery of speech, tailored to fit the occasion. Picture a couple, their words becoming walls between them. It's not just about what is said, but how it's said. A gentle tone, a kind word, can be the bomb that begins the healing process. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, persuasion, when used ethically, can guide someone to see through the fog of their emotions. Consider a family torn apart by differing views. Through logical argumentation, emotional appeals, and ethical considerations, a middle ground can be found. It's about crafting a narrative that resonates, making the indigestible palatable. Discernment between truth and falsehood, in our quest to build bridges, discerning truth from falsehood is crucial. It's about peeling back the layers, seeking the truth that lies beneath. When faced with conflicting stories, it's this discernment that guides us to the heart of the matter, allowing us to build on a foundation of trust. Role of Emotions Giguzzi teaches us that emotions, far from being obstacles, are the very fabric of our connections. By understanding and appealing to emotions, we can transform adversity into empathy. Imagine reaching out to someone in anger, only to realize that beneath their fury lies a well of hurt. It's in recognizing this hurt that we find the path to reconciliation. Adaptability in communication. Finally, Giguzzi highlights the importance of adaptability. Each person, each situation, requires a unique approach. Like a river that flows around obstacles, we too must learn to adapt our communication, finding new ways to connect and understand. In weaving these teachings into the fabric of our relationships, we begin to see not just the possibility of overcoming differences, but the beauty that lies in diversity. It's through our efforts to understand, to communicate with care and empathy, that we build bridges strong enough to withstand the storms of misunderstanding and conflict. As we take these teachings to heart, let us remember that the strongest bridges are built not of stone or steel, but of compassion, understanding, and the willingness to see the world through the eyes of another. In the end, it's not just about overcoming differences, but about celebrating them, recognizing that in diversity lies our strength, and in understanding, our unity. In the Grand Theater of Human Interaction Understanding and expressing affection can often feel like navigating a labyrinth in the dark. Yet, amidst this complex web of emotions and gestures, lies a profound simplicity, much like the teachings found in the ancient Chinese text, Giguzi. This text, a treasure trove of wisdom on persuasion and communication, offers invaluable insights that can illuminate our path in mastering the art of love languages. The concept of love languages, first introduced by Gary Chapman, posits that we each have preferred ways of giving and receiving love. These languages are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. Like a maestro conducting an orchestra, understanding and applying these languages in our relationships can lead to a harmonious symphony of affection and understanding. Understanding human nature. At its core, mastering love languages demands a deep understanding of human nature. A principle echoed in Giguzzi. Every individual craves to feel loved and understood in a manner that resonates with their soul. By observing and listening attentively to our loved ones, we can discern their primary love language. Whether it be the comforting embrace of physical touch or the reassuring words of words of affirmation, this attentiveness to the nuances of human behavior and motivation is what transforms ordinary relationships into extraordinary ones. Mastery of Speech Words carry the power to heal or hurt, to uplift or undermine. In the realm of love languages, words of affirmation can be likened to the mastery of speech taught in Giguzzi. Crafting a heartfelt compliment, expressing gratitude, or vocalizing our love can fortify relationships. Acting as pillars of support and affirmation. Similarly, the careful selection of words, timing, and tone is essential in effectively conveying our affection. Utilization of Rhetorical Techniques Much like the strategic employment of rhetorical techniques in Giguzzi, understanding the art of persuasion is crucial in expressing love languages. For instance, acts of service require a thoughtful approach where actions are tailored to meet the needs and desires of our loved ones. 
This could range from preparing a surprise dinner to taking on a task they dread. The key lies in the genuineness of the gesture, ensuring it speaks directly to the recipient's heart. Discernment between truth and falsehood. In navigating love languages, sincerity is paramount. Deguzzi emphasizes the importance of discerning between genuine and deceptive speech, a principle that applies equally to expressing affection. Love languages lose their essence when stripped of authenticity. Whether it's a gift given out of obligation or a compliment laced with ulterior motives, the lack of sincerity can be felt, eroding trust and connection. Role of Emotions Emotions are the lifeblood of love languages. The teachings of Gaguzi highlight the pivotal role of emotions in persuasion, a concept that extends to how we express and receive love. By tapping into our own emotions and empathizing with those of our loved ones, we can navigate the delicate dance of love languages with grace and depth. It's not just about the action, but the emotion that fuels it, making each gesture profoundly impactful. Adaptability in communication. Lastly, the ability to adapt our communication style, as advised in Gaguzi, is essential in the effective use of love languages. Each relationship is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. Flexibility and creativity in how we express our affection can lead to a deeper, more fulfilling connection. In conclusion, the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi offers a timeless guide in mastering the art of love languages. By applying these teachings, we can enhance our relationships, turning every gesture of love into a masterpiece of understanding and affection. In the end, it's not just about speaking the language of love, but doing so with a heart full of sincerity, empathy, and flexibility.